Adam, they just opened the doors. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I can't even hide it. Woo! All right, guys, so we just met up with my friend Derek, and he's got a really cool reptile to show us. The brand new Hawaiian morning gecko I got. And a cool thing about morning geckos is that they're parthenogenic, and you don't, there are no males, and you don't need a male to breed them. So they just are pretty much cloning themselves. That's awesome. Is that the first morning gecko you, you've got? Yeah, at home I have five hognose snakes, a crested gecko, and a leopard gecko. Awesome. I'm sure that's the first of many, many morning geckos you're going to have, because like you said, once they start going, they go. Can you let everybody know where they can find you? I'm at, on Instagram at DJS underscore fish. Awesome, and I'll put it somewhere there as well. And before we let you go, check out that awesome hoodie. You got it signed by everybody. <laughs> what, did you, what was your favorite thing at the expo today? Um, probably the Fiji banded iguana. I agree. That is probably my favorite thing here today too. Thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see you at the next expo. Check out this incredible Fiji banded iguana. This was produced by none other than Mr. Alex. You guys already know him from other videos. Um, how old is this baby here? Four to five months. It is beautiful. The blues that are coming out on it as well. You're a beautiful body. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it'll basically turn blue. All, between all the dark lights, it'll turn blue. Yeah. And it just gets better with the Yeah, age. Mike and Bree's Fiji has some really nice teal on it. blues. Yeah. Captive red Indian star tortoises. Uh, these guys are about eight months Anywhere. old. Is there uh, they're very slow growing tortoises. They adult females are 12 inches roughly, males about 10. Older, they're very slow growers. They gave about seven years to get to full size. And a really fun pet. My son takes them out all the time. That's awesome. Were these bred by you as well? Yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Thank you very much once again. Anytime. Hi, everyone. My name is Kayla Roach and I just found my favorite species at the expo. It is a Thamnophis marcianus, a checkered garter snake. Those who know me know I love Thamnophis. Garter snakes are incredible. They are so underrated. They're intelligent, they're active, they're inquisitive. And look at this beautiful pattern. It looks like a checkerboard. And we also have a Thamnophis butleri down here, which is another not so commonly seen species. Why am I not surprised you chose garter snakes? I, I love them and they're stinky musk. <laughs> hey there, it's Charles from the Critter Box and we are at the Exotic Addicts booth. We also have a knob-tailed gecko over here. Knob-tailed geckos are an arid species of gecko. They have really round and big eyes which makes them insanely cute and they they also wiggle their tails when they hunt which is something that makes them even cuter. They make awesome pets. And today in the Exotic Addicts booth, we have a featured guest, a very special Beauregard Reptiles. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> say, okay. say it right. Beauregard Reptiles. Okay, I was so off. <laughs> How are you finding the expo so far? It's great. Yeah, it's uh, enjoy working at the Exotic booth? For the first time, the uh, the, the adrenaline, adrenaline rush was amazing. You know, like the, the first sales and the first the interaction with customers. It was really, uh, really exciting. Awesome. Do you think you'll be coming back to other expos then? Well, most likely. Depends if Marie and Joe want me to come back. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. And okay, so what is your favorite species on this table? On this table right now? Oh, oh. Definitely the Gastrophilus persina. Yeah. I agree. I'm always jealous of Joe and his persina. I really want some. Yeah, and this morning when we when we unboxed them, they were blue. They were gorgeous. Well, thank you very much. Good well, luck the show. my pleasure. Okay, guys, we ran into some more familiar faces here. You guys may remember Zachary here from Canada Ant Colony. Hello. 
here, what is your favorite thing about the expo today? My favorite thing of the expo? Well, every single time I see the, the neon day geckos, yeah. and every single time I have to convince myself not to impulse purchase it. them. One of these days, maybe my roommate will say yes. Maybe the landlord say yes. We'll have some day geckos. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'm very excited for you to eventually get those neon day geckos. Can you let everyone know if they're looking for ants or ant information, where can they find you? You can find me basically everywhere except for YouTube, unfortunately. So that's, for example, my website, canada-ant-colony.com. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, you'll find me everywhere. Canada Ant Colony, I'll put it somewhere here. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy the show. No worries. Eat it. <laughs> this is a public apology from all of us because it's the last hour of the expo and none of us have filmed anything. Um, so you probably will oh still God, see some expo crazy. videos. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm right? saying, bro. Yes. <laughs> we have one more hour and nobody's filmed anything. Dan the Turtle Man is over there. <laughs> No, he's not. Not in the video. Okay, guys, we're here with the All Canadian Reptile Girl. Hello, Hi. Annalise. Hello. How are you finding the expo so far? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, the meet and greet went super well. There, there are so many cool things here. Uh, so many cool plants and stuff like that. Um, it's super, super busy. Super so many busy. people. Yes. Oh my god, it's so busy. There are so many people here. But the more the merrier. I agree. The more people come out of the shows, the better. So we were actually just walking over because you were going to show me a really cool species. Was it sold? It was so <laughs> Okay, so what did you tell us? What was it? It was a ball python, but it was really pretty. It had like these high white sides, and I don't know, I really like that sort of fade with the speckles and then the white sides. I think it's beautiful, but I'm pretty sure that it's gone. So whoever has it, give it a good home. Yes, and, and that's, but that's the reality of it is, this is the last hour of the expo. That and most true. of the cool animals are sold okay. by now. Here's the thing, I saw them like five minutes ago. Oh no, <laughs> I was just gonna make a point of like, yeah, come early to the expos, yeah, yeah, but yeah. never mind, okay. It, it's just luck sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we met up with our friend here, Natasha, and Natasha bought a really, really, really cool tarantula. You wanna show us that tarantula? Yeah, sure. I don't know if you can actually see it, but he's in here. So he's in here. He's still, yeah. Probably hiding right Still now. Still hiding, as yeah. they do. Dolicophelli diament diamantinensis, which is not very common. It's a lot more common than it was a few years ago, but mm -hmm. it's like the one on my bucket list that I've been waiting to get to complete my collection, so I'm super happy with it. That is awesome. And what did you think of the expo today? It is great. I love the addition of the plants. And I think that where, since everything's going bioactive, that it was just a really smart move to move the plants in together. So it's I agree. Great. So many different things. Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of the show and thank you very much, Natasha. My pleasure. Thank you. As we all know, Yoshi kind of dubbed James as, as the best influencer in the world. And I thought, 
it's so right. He he really he really deserves people to understand this. So so I I, I made him I made him a plaque to put up. I expect to see it in the background somewhere. And uh, so so James for you. You guys are so cringy. Yeah. <laughs> I love you both, but you're so cringy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Number one influencer in the world, right here, James. Guys, check out Top Shelf Geckos. More friends from past expos. At this point, you guys are expo veterans, right? You guys basically, hang basically. Out every expo. What did you guys pick up? Well, well, I got this beautiful crochet cactus from the plant expo which is now new to the reptile expo that was really cool to see yeah yeah we have a plant or we have a cactus safe uh or yeah. a, um, what would it be an animal safe, an animal safe cactus yeah. animal safe cactus although i think after a few poops on that it yeah. might not <laughs> well we'll see how it goes after we wash or how, how yeah. easy it is to wash exactly. yeah. And oh, big bag of dirt. Big bag of dirt. I don't got the room at home to like get the bucket out, get the water out, break up the brick. So I'm just picking up this big bag of dirt and seeing how it goes. Can you show me you doing like a shoulder press with the bag? Oh yeah, okay. Mm. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly. You need the extra leverage because of how heavy it is. Oh, well, yeah. my wallet's lighter now after buying it, so it's easier, right? <laughs> awesome. Where did you get that from? I got it right down from Port Credits Pets. And uh, yeah, they're great people, great supplies. Oh yeah, we picked up some backgrounds. Those are really yeah. cool. Well, I guess they are backgrounds for our uh, minis we're about to grab, the mini talls. We got some smaller geckos and uh, we want to give them a cool background. Awesome. Where did you get those backgrounds from? We got them at the same place, same time. Also, Port Credit, Credit Pets, awesome. always. Well, if you need your soil needs or your background needs, go check out Port Credit Pets. And thank you guys once again for being thank the video you. as always. And hopefully we'll see you at the next expo. Hey, thank you for the interview and you know you will. Yeah, sweet. Okay guys, so it's literally the last five minutes of the expo. Everyone's getting ready to head out of here, but we ran into some more friends from Ottawa actually, and we're gonna see what they got today. What did we pick up today? Chameleon gecko and a tarantula. Awesome, where did you get the chameleon gecko from? The jungle vault. The jungle vault, <laughs> awesome, okay. And you said you picked up a tarantula as well? What kind of tarantula? Uh, Carolina Versicolor. And what about you guys? We got stuff for a new build. We got, we got a bunch of plants. Yeah. We got a bromeliad. Air plants. Yeah, air we plants. Stuff. We, got some, we got some cork bark as well. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, okay, nice. Anything else? And a bunch of ferns. A lot of ferns. A bunch of ferns. ferns. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is geckos, inverts. Yeah. You said you were looking for a frog. Looking for a frog. Yeah. Didn't find it? Did not find it. Okay. No. Hopefully oh. you'll find it at the next expo yeah. though. Yeah. Yes. And then cork bark and plants and guys, there's so many different things you can find at the Reptile Expo. Here is proof all in one go. He's tiny. Will you be coming out to the next expo? Of course. Of course. And they're coming from Ottawa, so you're yeah, making yeah. a five hour drive for the expo. Totally worth the drive. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Okay guys, the expo video is coming to an end. It was a very, very, very busy day. So that's why unfortunately I wasn't able to film until now, which is the last 10, 15 minutes. Um, look, friends are passing by, friends friends more friends but all anyway awesome expo incredibly full so many people came out thank you to everyone that came out to the meet and greet everyone came out to say hi the reptile expo is officially done it's past four which means everyone's packing up and getting home i felt like i didn't film enough today so i'm going to show you guys some booths as they're unpacking i'm just going to kind of do a walkthrough and we're going to take you guys with me so behind us reptiles are us as always The most important man, the man of the hour, doing all the packing. <laughs> Can you give me a ride on that? Where do you want to go? Um, we're giving we're giving people a tour of the expo after as they're unpacking. So, Sounds good. so, so I don't like walking actually, and this is me speeding it up. So, poor credit pets, all, all all the most awesome snakes. Come check them out every time you come to the booth. You need supplies, you need pork, you need soil. Poor credit pets, but we already covered this earlier. We have mother of geckos over here. This is actually working. I'm so surprised. Look at this. I don't even have to walk anymore. This is this is special treatment. Look, Westgate Exotics. More poor credit pets. Supplies, all the all the tanks, everything here. Um, and we have the feeders. If you came to the expo and you bought a reptile and used feeders, you get a feeder here. And over <laughs> here we have um, so, sorry guys, I'm just we're just uh, touring the expo. Um, sorry, so we have these people over there, and you know how it is. You have uh, Greg, Alex with DNA Reptiles, Tarantula Canada, Alec Brown. We're touring the expo. Oh. And there's a good stop to get off. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> This is the community corner where we were hanging out most of the day and now we are in officially the plant section of the expo. So again, most people are packing up, but plants. Plant mama in the corner, very cool um, hang on the wall plant designs. There we go, she's waving. Go check her out. I'll put the little name thing as well, plant mama. Plant expo. Thankfully, Crystal Star Nursery hasn't finished shutting down because they have some really, really cool plants here. There was a bunch of other really cool reptile vendors, as always, of course. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to show you them all, but there's always going to be another expo and we'll show you them in the next one. Super happy that the plant expo is now part of the reptile expo and that we're getting the opportunity to not only buy the tank, buy the supplies, buy the animals, but we can also buy the, the plants. We can set them up. You can do the whole thing right here in the expo. So you can do the whole scape and you don't even have to leave the expo. But anyway, that's enough rambling from me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching. I apologize for the lack of animals in this video. Um, yeah, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.